go, yellow! Your body's in a good shape, do it so when you're looking forward, yeah? So you know you're going. Yeah, don't just go down and bend your head. Keep looking up, fire through. Getting feet in small steps, feet in really close. Good stuff, good stuff. We can take a lot away, obviously. Quinn's being a professional outfit, bring something new, something different for us to bring to training and try with the boys. Level of enthusiasm obviously lifts up when there's, you know, guys around that are professional rugby players and gives us opportunity to see how things work on the next level. Sometimes you forget what the roots are, you become your professional, um, you forget what the game is all about and the game is all about, you know, people who come down and give it their spare time and, and do it for nothing and we all started from a small club or a small place and uh, sometimes just coming back and for the players as well that have been here today, coming back and just seeing people come down to have fun and enjoy themselves. They're so enthusiastic which is great for us, you know, obviously we just put it, keeping it nice and simple for them. Um, it's fantastic to come down here, obviously it's fresh as week so there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of new guys, a lot of guys that have been here before and a lot of girls as well. I learned about tackling in a powerful position, apparently I like crouch in a not powerful <laughs> position so hopefully I can use that and apply it this season. So if you come down as you would, if you're at my height, it's really easy. We're going to go eight minutes on, two minutes off. In that two minutes, you get a chance to get a drink of water and rotate to the next section. I think this is the, one of the greatest things that ever happened in, in American rugby in this area. I, I, I recall this never, never in the history of American rugby, especially at youth level, to have a team at this level offering this type of support and, and instruction to these boys. because. It's just, it's rare in this country, although it's growing. I think rugby over here is going to be massive in the future, uh, particularly with, you know, the domination of NFL and collegiate sports. Um, it's a great opportunity for guys who don't necessarily make that, that step up to go into rugby and try and develop. Coaching over here can only help that in the future from the younger generations, as you see behind us. You know, we're trying to develop that, help them as we do back in the UK. And I believe over here that the professional game is just going to grow and grow over the, last, the next 10 years. It's, it's great for the program. It's great for the kids to, you know, to shoot or something. You know, it, it, it's a higher level of playing. It, it can only help the game. They were very enthusiastic, you know. They, they got everybody going. They got everybody hyped. Everybody actually wanted to participate. There wasn't really no slouching or no, you know, walking around the field or anything. What you tend to find is certainly with a lot of our youth rugby, the first thing they learn with contact is to just hit a bag and go to floor. We call it space speed smash. Go. Good. That's nice and strong. Good. It's just being in that atmosphere of like, they're really passionate. We're really passionate. Just kind of feeding off their energy. It's really awesome to see like how things are done across the world and to bring that to America since we don't really have, like we haven't grown up doing it, so it's awesome to watch, witness that. Really enthusiastic, um, really keen and, and keen for knowledge and, and that's really good and you know, happy to pass on some of the things, you know, so just some of the key things that are about us as Quins in terms of how we defend, you know, there's no secrets, it's, uh, it's actually sharing and helping almost. What's been probably the coolest thing is learning the structure and how they apply the structure of the practice and of the concept of the club and sort of put it all together and it's something that, that we're really going to be able to take back to our club and both on our on our junior level and our and our adult level and, and put it put into practice and probably see some immediate results which is pretty neat. You can just see they're very passionate about their sport, their facilities are great, their environment, their sort of, uh, the, the weather is, is so conducive to being outside. You just think if they, if they get it right, they get the right level of commitment. That, uh, the world's their oyster really.